All right, that's it. We are done. Chuck is running on the 97 ECU. No check engine lights yet, at least. Usually it takes a couple hundred miles or whatever to pop up, but... I'll fix all that once I get some loom. They sell a really nice um, tape, fabric tape, that Mercedes uses and Audi and all the high-end stuff for engine bay, wiring, loom and tape. So I'll tape that all up. Got our vapor pressure sensor here teed into the EVAP. You can also buy a 97-98 T100 uh, canister. It comes with the valve, um, so you don't have to do this, but it's like 300 bucks. Um, so I guess if you want to do that, you can do that. Otherwise, this works exactly the same. And officially, oh, I gotta give an update here. Got our mud flaps on. Everything is um, coated, sprayed with the rubberized undercoating here. Seam sealers covered up. Fender liners are in, mud flaps. So that's that. Front end still looks good. Why is this out of focus? Focus! There's our other side here. Everything's nice, coated, perfect. Not perfect, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Idle super smooth. Um, it was high idle when it was cold. As it warmed up, it came down. So that tells me the idle controls all, are all working correctly. Don't mind that rasp, I don't like it either, but one thing at a time. Um, so that's it, that concludes the T100 project. Uh, I'll do an update when I swap on the bed and the doors once this thing ships out to California. Um, but that's just straightforward, just bolt out, bolt in. Um, but other than that, very pleased. Very, very pleased. That this is uh, all came together real nice. Check engine light works as it should when you start up and goes off afterwards. So I'm gonna button everything up, bolt the ECU in, and we're done. Till next time.